I have a brother, Rajesh. He's an electrician. Rajesh always gets crazy questions, and his boss never failed to answer them. One day, Rajesh had a question: Why don't birds get electrocuted while sitting on a power line? And what his boss explained was: Okay, let me explain that to you with this setup. But before that, answer this. Say you have to travel from Delhi to Bangalore. You have two options. Option A: to travel through the cities which has traffic. Option B: to choose the highway. Which one would you pick? Of course, I pick the highway. Exactly. You'd pick the easiest route, the highway. Just like how a car travels on the road, electrons travel through wire, and they will also pick the easiest route. By the way, why didn't you pick the city route? Too much traffic, bro. Slows me down, man. The traffic slows you down, right? That's called resistance. Just like how you didn't like the route with traffic or say higher resistance, electrons also don't like the route with higher resistance or higher traffic. That's why they would choose the easiest route or the route with less resistance. So when birds sit on a power line, they don't get a shock because birds have a high resistance of 400 to 1000 ohms. On the other hand, the power lines are made of AAC an aluminum alloy which has a low resistance of 0.004 ohms per meter. So, the electrons choose the easiest path by going through the wire rather than the bird. Just to get the hang of it, we must know what is potential difference. Here we have two cans. Can A and can B filled with water. As you can see, water from can A flows to can B and this flow is because of height difference. Actually, potential difference. Water always flows from a higher potential to a lower potential. Similarly, electrons also flow from a higher potential to a lower potential. Here is a setup of the power lines. Usually power lines have three wires, two live wires and a neutral wire. The first one here carries the current and has a potential difference of 240 volts. The second one is the neutral wire. It completes the circuit and has a potential difference of 0 volts. The third wire here past the street lamp assume this doll to be a bird when a bird sits on a power line due to its high resistance current does not flow through it and most importantly the potential on this end is 240 and the potential on this end is still 240 so the difference in potential is 240 minus 240 which is zero so the bird is safe to make it simple these two cans are placed at the same height and water is filled to the same level the water does not flow because the potential difference is zero the same thing happens to the birds on the power lines too why do birds get roasted sometimes suppose when a bird puts one leg on the live wire and the other leg on the neutral wire the potential here is 240 volts and the potential here is 0 volts so there is a potential difference of 240 volts now when i turn on the power the current that is the electrons flows through this and it burns <laughs> Okay this does not happen often the government has several safety standards for preventing this the average gap between the live and the neutral wire should be a minimum of 1.2 meters and the gap increases based on the increase in voltage similarly the height of the pole should be a minimum of 9 feet and the height of the pole increases based on the increase in voltage too so the birds get electrocuted due to heavy rains or windy seasons because the live and the neutral wire may come closer to the birds if you have any crazy science questions do let us know in the comments i'll see you in another video until then this is rakesh signing off